going on YouTube? Welcome back to Ryan Reacts. It's been a while since I've done anything Tom McDonald related, but we're here. Uh, it was just uploaded around 20 minutes ago. The song's Dummies, as you can tell by the title. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. I can already know what to expect with Tom. And the reason why I really don't react to his music that much is because, like, I don't know, not to sound ignorant, but it's just like, you know, for the average mind who is just finally starting to wake up, maybe even the past two or three years, maybe when COVID hit, it woke up people, it opened up people's eyes. For me, it's been well over a decade. It's been about 11 years, going on 12 years since I've been awake researching stuff. So I don't know. I feel like it's me just doing what I do anyway. Whenever I live stream, whenever I plant seeds and stuff like that, I just uh, talk about this stuff anyway. But I figure with everything ramping up, if it takes a music, like a musical way, I was going to say musically inclined, but just a musical way in general, entertaining way to get people to wake up, then that's powerful. So let's check out Tom McDonald's Dummies. Let's not waste any more time. It's already been a minute, 20 seconds. Let's go. I love the earth, but I don't really want to save it. Everything is sexist, homophobic, or it's racist. When See right off the bat. Yep, people that I love the earth. I love uh, living in the earth. I love the planet. But people don't put the time and effort to change anything. People don't sacrifice. And in some ways, yeah, I'm hypocritical with things. Like, if I see litter, I'm not picking it up. You know, I'm not going to say, like, I'm going to intentionally litter. But I'm not going to pick up other people's litter or trash or anything like that. Just I ain't got time for it. And, you know, the whole thing is it's like, no matter what I do, it has to be like a collective thing for change. Sure, it might look good on a cause like a cosmetic level a little bit, cleaning up a park, you know, kids throwing their trash. But then what about the next park and parks I've never visited? And, you know, people could say, well, with that attitude. Well, yeah, but that attitude's going to be like that. Even if I died today, it's going to, you know, and it's more than just trash. I mean, it's like it's a lot of things, you know, especially when they intentionally poison our planet with dumping stuff in the ocean, spraying chemicals in the air, uh, putting crap in our water, putting crap in our food, <laughs> cigarette butts, non-biodegradable, just stuff like that. It's like, there's only so much that we can do. But all right, like right off the bat, he's already spitting facts. You think it's sexist, homophobic, or it's racist. When life gives us lemons, we're supposed to want to change it. But my I don't think I'm not going to bring up when he says about homophobia, transphobia, sexes, you know, sexism, racism. So my stance on that is, yes, racism sucks. But at the same time, I don't care about it because I dislike each person and each race individually and equally. If that makes sense. And yes, each person. I did say that right. Each person. I dislike people because of choices but i also dislike myself so it kind of works out so it's not about someone's color or nationality you know and me being mixed um i'm not gonna like be biased towards one or the other referring like white and black there's white trash and there's there's black trash and there's mexican trash and there's asian trash and there's indian trash and there's albino trash like it doesn't matter there's trash everywhere i'm trash okay like i don't care you know so you can call me basically you could take what i said out of like context or you can like add more to what i say but what i mean is it's like none of us are exempt we're all guilty we're all in a fallen world we're all sinners and we all fall short you know of the glory of god and we all need a savior and we all are guilty no person on this planet's good a bad person can do good things and a good person can do bad things, regardless of race. So from like the LGBTQ thing, obviously, you know, my stance on that is, yeah, it's an abomination to the Lord. It's wrong. But that whole term phobia, it's like if it comes to like spiders, right? Arachnophobia, people only think of being afraid of spiders, but not like hating spiders. I don't hate spiders. I just don't like spiders but i don't hate them you know and it's not them as like personal which is yeah they 
some are poisonous they look creepy all those legs uh it's just these irrational fears mentally that correlate with spiders snakes alligators whatever you know or even like if you have like a a fear of like uh getting your car broken into or something you know doesn't mean like it, it's just it's just the thought process so with like homophobia why can't it be like that like well i'm not afraid you know like they say homophobia but i don't think it's the same thing as like arachnophobia or something because i'm not afraid of gay people so then they twist the narrative well you just don't like them and it's even like that like yeah i said before i don't like people but i don't like straight people either i don't like people but like it's not even them per se it's i don't approve of the lifestyle of choice <laughs> equally as a lgbtq person whatever not liking a straight person's choice for not approving of their lifestyle see the like the double standard it's just weird let's back it up when life gives us lemons, we're supposed to want to change it. But my generation rather take some pills than escape it. Say that I'm... He always resorts to that, you know. Rather pop zannies and this and that. Rather take pills. But, I mean, it's true. Stupid microphone. It's making my focus all crazy. Right there. Um. So what he's trying to say is it's like, instead of people dealing with their problems and actually trying to focus on them, they rather resort to pills. They, re they rather resort to alcohol drugs smoking weed etc to not fix the problem but to just pass it to the side for a bit the problem with that is eventually it's going to creep up back to the surface i mean that's the main thing it's going to creep back up to the surface the root of the problem still is there but you might cut off a few branches but that tree that root is still up there and your life isn't changing like in fact it's causing bigger problems because you have that you have those problems but because mentally you're choosing to spend money or hook up with people in a similar boat or similar category and then consume those substances that's also creating or drawing out more problems that you have like addiction and just the lack of willpower to actually sit down think and discover real solutions that isn't going to give you more problems it's mainly with like pills and alcohol that causes like physical withdrawal symptoms and stuff like that so yeah transphobic if you wanna but one day i'll be a father and i really hope my son don't grow up to be my daughter i ain't trying to hurt you and yeah i i can understand that he says that but the thing is he put blair white in one of his videos he literally put a transvestite in his videos not even like crediting or anything not saying anything so you got all these kids oh she's so hot or she looks or who's that people that don't know and the whole time i was watching that video i just kept having this like ah, there's something not right here i don't know because i mean i've heard of blair white a couple of years ago but obviously i'm not in that i'm not in that lane to just look up you know the d'amelios or whoever the freak these people are but just see the headlines maybe see like a snippet or something i didn't even think about the name blair white in relation to that person i'm just like there's something wrong here or something so he says that but then he still kind of promotes it by putting a transvestite in his videos it's like or in a video of his <sighs> Feeling skin should be a little thicker. That's the problem. Being honest, got them triggered. The kids are getting weaker because they're sheltered by society. Pumpkin spice out of for seasonal anxiety. Wokeness has become a w And see, like, I can literally turn this into, like, this long escapade of, like, breaking down everything. But I don't just break down what he says. I give a an example or real-world situations that correlate to what he's saying. And it's like, I want to do it a little bit less because I've already, this is already almost 10 minutes and I'm only 20, 26 seconds into the song. So it's like, how do I do this? Basically, 
for the spice pumpkin, Starbucks, latte, whatever, frappe mochiato, vente, whatever, it's like people, they will choose pleasure as an excuse. It's kind of like people get themselves worked up on purpose for that reward system, right? They don't actually care or even think about the circuitry of actually getting themselves fixed, like emotionally or in their situation. But it's like doing something because you get yourself worked up so much to justify yourself doing something. And drinking a freaking sugary-based drink with a lot of other additives and stuff that's like addictive is just simply causing more of a problem inside of your life. To bully non violently and cancel everyone without improving on the life we lead. Without the white, there's no black. Without the straight, there's no gay. Without the men, there's without the straight, there's no gay. I like how we worded it that way. At least it didn't say without the gay, there's no straight, because that would have been a whole <laughs> have been a whole nother topic. Um Yeah, like people just they try different things. And you know, then people just once you it's a gateway thing. So like once you try something. That's it. Like your mind is going to advance to the next level of that particular thing. Now imagine a group of people that are like-minded that come together to do that. That's causing issues. Like, you know, I can think of several things to do with this bottle, even though really it's just about just drinking the water. Ah, the white balance. Ah, let me fix that. Because I have an auto white balance, so like now I'm super orange. It'll see it's starting to fizzle back. Anyway, it's just like just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. Especially if, yeah, if it causes all types of diseases and stuff like that. And, you know, then it gets pushed onto the kids that grew up that way. And here we are. No women. Without the night, there's no day. Without the idiots, we couldn't laugh at them when they fall. So maybe we need them after all. Yeah, it's called useful idiots. And, yeah, they can play a role in society. But... That doesn't mean take advantage of them that much, but it's just like, it's like working at a fast food place in a way. I mean, it's like, it's not even to call the people that work their idiots, but what it is, it's like they are minimizing their potential as a human being where they have the potential to get paid more, to do more, but somebody's got to do it. You know, it's like they're feeding the ones that decided to not do that, but to do something better. At the same time, it doesn't mean that could be the end all be all of uh their life so they could start off that way like as a college student high school student whatever and then upgrade but i guess like yeah seeing like the 45 year old or even 30 year old person working at a fast food place and don't get me wrong i don't make a lot of money like i live comfortably i do things so i got a photo shoot tomorrow anyway freelancing is just something that pays a lot more and i don't want to say for less work but it's like it doesn't feel like work. If you're doing something in your life that is profiting you, it's, uh, that you actually enjoy, then it's not, it's not really work. But I guess like, yeah, people that just, they don't like transcend or accelerate to the next stage of their potential, then it's like, well, they're still useful because they're still, at least they're work and they're doing stuff, but it's just, they could be doing more. And I know, like, useful idiots also more than just that, but that was just an example that I came up with. We need them after all. Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Hey, yo! you love to be wrong. You don't have to touch the boss. Hey, yo! Dumb, 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 dumb. Everyone's gonna hate on this hook chorus whatever you want to call it everybody yeah like you you can't i mean i couldn't imagine somebody actually walking down the street just singing this dum diddy dum 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 well i just did it but you know what i'm saying like it's just not it's interesting I love the earth but i don't really want to save it everyone's obsessed with making stupid people famous if a white boy and that's true. See, the thing about algorithms is they can literally push a button. They can make me famous right now. 
Seriously, no matter what, smoothie, no matter what, they can make me famous. Let me smoothie cup. Yeah, put them in little Dixie cups. Anyway, um, they can make anyone famous that they want. It's simple. All you do is you hit the switch, you give me 5 million subs, you put a check next to my name, and then the flock's going to come. It's that simple. Like, it's literally that simple. Um, but of course, you have to pay something, you know, what? I don't even know if the term's used anymore, but what? Visco girls or something? Instagram girls, freaking OnlyFans people. Just all these people that they literally sell their souls for that fame. It's not just Hollywood anymore. And it hasn't for years. But it's where any, anybody can make it as far as social media goes. And the powers that be, as far as the social media platforms are concerned, understand that. So it's like, well, yeah, come over. Uh, we'll fly you out here. We'll give you this. We'll give you all these promises. All you have to do is X, Y, and Z to me and my friends. And you will get a spot or a chance for a spot. It's And girls, and it's not just girls, guys. They, they turn out, they, you know, they get turned out too. It's, it's crazy. Just for some money, just for some fame. And they have to live with that because it goes in the subconscious mind and it's stuck forever. All right, let's go. Raps, then it's called appropriation. But Beyonce does a hair blonde and people say she slayed it. Everybody's outraged. Here he goes with the, you know, the rap game with rappers and, you know, dressing not according to what society deems is culturally acceptable. You know, him him being white with dreads, her being black with blonde hair, whatever. I don't know. He says that way too much. Way, way too much. I get it. Like, reminders are good, but like. I don't even think that's it. People don't even seem to care about that much anymore. Do you know why? Because of the whole LGBT community. All the social justice warriors. Where it's so offensive. Like, I guarantee, like, yeah, people are going to comment on this video. It's already in the comment section. I guarantee it. Oh, I'm, I'm a bigot. I'm this. I'm that. I'm a hater. The difference, though, is, is I don't care. Like, that's the thing. Like, you can say it. You can type it. You can threaten me in any way you want. And I don't care. Like, I really don't. It might seem like I care, you know, because, well, you're a human, you need to care. But the thing is, is, like, I feel like if the shoe fits, like, if you're that triggered and offended by things, then you must feel guilty about it. And you must be in that bracket. You must be in that category. See, cancel culture only works if you let it. And just like Tom, you ain't canceling me. I'll make a whole new channel. I don't care. Like, it doesn't matter. I don't get monetized. I don't ask people for money on this platform or anything i do not care in fact that's if i get canceled that's proof that i'm right so let's see if i'm right go ahead it's a it's one big joke like people just whine and cry over everything but here's the here's the key though because now i'm starting to think like a sheep a little bit because that gets regurgitated a lot even the, the the woke people the fake woke people right it's not even that people are really offended because who is this entity that's offended, right? How does it spread enough so people can actually know what I'm even saying? Well, you know, they share it. No, because the views don't lie, right? You know, the views don't lie. No, not everyone that, you know, you share it to watches it. But they sure as heck put it in the comment section. The thing is, it's like, they can create that narrative. They could just put, and they could just literally artificially inflate something that isn't you know based off of news articles the powers that be can just throw out these news articles to so many different news outlets to be read to get people to believe that it's true like yeah there's there's like it's so viral it's an outrage it's this and that well obviously now because you made it that way if you wouldn't have put the article out it wouldn't because people wouldn't know about it and even then people are gonna believe it oh well, there's so many people that are offended Go play, Addy. I'm busy. Talk to you in a bit. It's just like, it's like that. You know, it's like, it's not real. You know, if they put out these articles, ah, oh, there's killer bats flying around. There's killer bats. Or even, even these killer hornets. They showed a picture of one every so often. Have you personally seen a killer hornet? 
And even if you did, how is how is it so viral if like there's not millions of different like people putting it? So you gotta really watch. So when so yeah, I was I said it like a sheep, like all these offended people. No, there's all these articles saying there's offended people. That's how I should have worried worded it. But I'm glad I worded it more to actually elaborate. Dang, we are 20 minutes in. At least we're like halfway done with this song. Everybody's mad. I solutions to the issues. Everybody's mad, but no, not not everybody's mad. People are being told that everybody's mad. Yes, don't get me wrong. There are some mad people. I get it. But a lot of those are industry plants that just go out there and cause a ruckus and flail their arms around and stuff because they're being paid to. There's crisis actors just to get people to, you know, sympathize or empathize with these people. Don't make no sense. The stairs are the problem. We build wheelchair ramps. We don't cancel feet or persecute the people. Is that the same arms he used in, uh, never mind. With legs. The feminists who started the movement would be ashamed of so many things. They Hold on, I missed that. Persecute the people with legs. The I gotta go back even further then. Stairs are the problem, we build wheelchair ramps. We don't cancel feet or persecute the people with legs. The feminists who started the movement would be ashamed of so many things. They fought so you can vote, I show your butthole on OnlyFans. I'm not a- And that's funny, because I heard about that story. But, I, was it OnlyFans? I don't know, um, more plates, more dates, dude uh posted something or made a video and referenced that see that's the thing about only fans it's like oh yeah now they're banning adult material but what it's it's kind of like how they did with uh with youtube where at one point they let anybody monetize just make your channel and monetize anybody anybody and i had my channel along that time when you were able to i just didn't care then and i don't care now i don't care but it's like that. It's like, well, not anyone can do it now. Now it's only exclusive people. But it's just, it's a way to make them more popularized because now more people are talking about them. And it's going to get people to, to try to fight up the ranks to get that status so then they can do it. And they can, sell, they can easily make more money selling verified accounts if they want it secretly. Like, there's so much like, I'm just giving them ideas. But I mean, it doesn't matter because they're going to do what they're going to do. They already, you know, they're strategic when it comes to crap like that. But at the end of the day, is it OnlyFans' fault? Or is it the simps out there that want to pay girls money and the girl don't care? And, and no, I'm not even saying watch whatever's for free on tube sites because I'm against that as well. You know, don't even like don't think or look at a woman with lust in your heart. You know, it's already committing adultery in your heart but same thing with guys too i mean and well you're a hypocrite wearing a shirt yeah well it's hot in here and I'm, I'm nothing special to look at anyway you know i'm not even showing nipples or anything it's like whatever but yeah you could see if i was a steroided out juice head you know with muscles and stuff i'm just a average dude so i should have put a shirt on I'll, I'll give you that one whatever let's go bad person because you don't like what i say call me homophobic just because i think straight i love people <laughs> call me homophobic because i think straight again it'd be clever if you didn't put blair right in your video believe in though we disagree i wish we could get wi-fi signals from a tree the next now he's just saying anything Everyone would plan them and we probably save the planet. Ah, okay. All right, Tom, you, you're clever for that one. Yeah, because then people would actually have an incentive for planting trees. Because people can't live without their internet. Gotcha. You're never going to see this. And if you do, you probably already clicked off anyway before this point. Not, not, not only because it's long, but because, you know, in the Tom fan's eyes, I'm bashing Tom. I'm just spitting. I'm just saying it like it is. I haven't made up anything. And there's more stuff I could say. There's so many contradictions in Tom's songs. Like, I don't want to be M. I just want to be me. But I'm you, M. <laughs> and just other random stuff. Oh, he also has an anti-cross on his neck. 
but he also already admitted that he's not a Christian. So, yeah, there's that. And for free, too bad we only need him to breathe. want to save it classifying people by their sex and race degrades them but we still say straight white males are the worst of our population guess the labels are okay if they're caucasian our kids are living in their rooms i swear we barely ever see them go outside sometime there's fresh air you could be breathing put your phones down play sports do something illegal go and meet your family wait 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 but don't do something illegal don't what is this nova whoever freaking okay you record it Apparently, I can only go based on what they say or what they type or what they put in, you know, video by Nova Rockefeller. So I can only assume that, you know, I could put video, this video is by Santa Claus, you know, would you believe it? But I'm not saying I don't believe it because it doesn't matter. Like, cool, you know, it's wonderful. But don't do something illegal. I mean, this right here, that's very anti what Tom used to represent. Like, you know, blame the rappers, like that song I'm thinking of, you know. But now you're literally telling people to do something illegal. Uh, I don't get that. Illegal. Go and meet your families. They're probably nice people. These days you're a Nazi if you don't hate the police. They say that white folks think all Asian people are Chinese. I'm sorry, what kind of white people you mean? English, Scottish, German, Swedish, or Greek. And Black Lives Matter was problematic. It excludes anyone without the pigment. It's automatic. I understand all the reasons it happened, but including all humans is the actual answer. <laughs> all right. Well, that's that. Let's go through these comments like I always do. Only, of course, only 45,000 views. I mean, I don't see this. This song is just a regurgitation of parts of other songs that he's put. Yeah, the visuals were cool when he was, you know, in that corridor, like, you know, psychedelic room, hallway looking thing. And like how you kind of walk backwards with your camera. It's like doing this. It's like you, you twist the lens outward and as you're backing up you zoom it in to give like a cold depth of field effect then of course you do your uh your effects in post-processing while you edit to kind of make it that like psychedelic like wavy movie kind of i gotta fix the white balance again all right um just stuff like that like cool visuals in certain parts but it's nothing we haven't heard just another we people are so stupid or uh brainwashed or whatever i'm not even i'm just scrolling down the comments because it's all you know all the tom bots oh. but here, here's the line i'm gonna say this now tom didn't kill himself he's anticipating Oh no, uh, if people, if he spreads too much truth, he's going to get killed. He's like, in fact, he, he toned it down in this song. It's like the, uh, the elite got to him, right? Because he was spreading a lot more stuff in the last one than he is in this one. So it's like this song was to like detract from the last one from people. Like, that's just how society is. It's all about now, 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 now. It's like he took a step backwards. But I am done with this. Um, it's 30 minutes now. If you watch this, you're, you're insane. You really are. You're insane. I kind of regret making it. But, hey, I got my, my points out. There's a, there's a lot more I could say. 
tune into my streams and ask me questions if you want. Post a comment down below hating or whatever. I don't care. Do not care. Because look, if, if, if I'm your enemy, then your life must suck. Because there's way crazier things going on in the world that you should be after. And now I'm not saying that for damage control. I'm just saying literally you just suck. Like if I'm, if I triggered or offended you at all, at all during this reaction, then you're no better than the dummies that he's talking about. As always, may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Enjoy your day. Stay safe out there. Fight the real fight, the good fight. The battle isn't between me versus you. The battle is between you versus the devil, Satan, Lucifer, whatever. And he's blinding the people that are mad about all this stuff. Because again, if the shoe fits, if you fit the bill, you're offended, then it must be true. Because you could say whatever you want to me, and I'm not going to get offended. Because your opinion, it ain't worth me caring. Peace.